Hey guys, it's me Dave. Uh, it is Saturday night, 12-14-2019. Uh, Thought I'd do a little video tonight for the heck of it. Uh, I'm just kind of, not much going on. Having a couple beers, just relaxing. And uh, I was watching some uh, MK Ultra documentaries on YouTube. Um, you know, it, 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 it blows me away. It really blows me away that... Um, you know, they, they have been studying mind control since the 40s, you know, and the 50s and the 60s. And, and then 1973, it kind of became uh, classified. Everything became classified in 1973. That's the year I was born. I was born in 1973. Um, it just amazes me. You know, that, that's the old school stuff where they were using LSD and they weren't doing things remotely yet or, or anything like that. They were using a lot of, sh of uh, shock treatments and stuff like that. Um, you know, they would, uh, you know, they were doing brainwashing experiments and, and, uh, and a lot of shock treatments and stuff like that and, and uh, erasing people's memories and uh, depattering uh, people's uh, brains, I guess. Uh, they were doing all kinds of things. You know, and it, it's amazing now because since the 70s, they were able to do this stuff remotely. You know, believe it or not, you know, I know a lot of TIs don't believe this, but they can read your mind in real time. Um, my attackers approved that, uh, proved that to me. Um, you know, they, they proved that they can look through my eyes. Uh, they were telling me everything. When I was getting V2K, they were telling me everything that was going on. Uh, you know, looking through my eyes. It's amazing. Um... It's just amazing. You know, and I was thinking about, um, because I was in the psych ward three times. The first time I was in there for three days, it was a fake psych ward. Um, I was in there for three days. They didn't diagnose me, and they let me out on the third day. Um, the second time, I was brutally tortured in the psych ward for 11 days I was sleep deprived for 11 days you know they were they were they, they drugged me they were giving me medications but they also drugged me um and uh, they were doing all kinds of things to me they were doing skits throughout the day playing out skits they were they, you know it was all filled with perps it was just it was unreal you know um they let me sleep one night. They let me sleep one night uh, out of eleven days. Um, you know, it was it was twenty four seven torture. I was tortured so bad, you guys wouldn't you guys wouldn't believe it. Um, you know, the third time I went into the psych ward, um, I was in there for five weeks. Uh, during that time, they committed me. Um, you know, they committed me. Uh, you know, saying, and they totally lied. They totally lied. They had the court, they held the court right at the hospital. It was a mock trial. I wanted to fight the thing. You know, but, but my lawyer was involved. Everyone was involved in this against me. You know, my my lawyer, they were paying him like $350 an hour. Um, you know, and he said part of a skit. You know, um, he said group home, group home. You know, so, um, and that's part of my skit. You know, they were saying that, oh, you're going to end up in a group home. We're going to put you in a group home. That was one of my... Uh, Oh, one of my skits when I was getting V2K. Um, you know, it's just unreal. Unreal. You know, that uh, they would spend the money and get everyone involved and all this stuff. Mock trial, all this stuff. Um, 
you know, I, I, I keep on asking myself why I'm such a big target in this program. Um, I truly have been in this program since I was a kid, probably one years old. I truly believe that, that I was in this program since I was about one years old, 1974, you know, um, it's unreal, you know, but, uh, but, you know, so they lied when they committed me. They said that I went to the psych ward involuntary. You know, and I, they said that I ran up to the nurse's station and I threatened to kill everyone. I told them that in court. I said, I did not do that. You know, I told them that in court. I said, I did. I said, I know for a fact that I did not do that. You know, um, you know, and my lawyers like whatever you do, you're going to lose anyway. You're going to lose no matter what you do. You're going to lose. You know, so, and I, I did lose. Um, they committed me, and I went to a treatment center for mental illness, anger management, and all this stuff. They put me through a, a you know, extreme um, anger management program, you know, that lasted three months. I was in there for 90 days. You know what the weird thing is? I was thinking about this. You know what the weird thing is? is that I never received a bill for any of this stuff. I never received a bill for any any of the times that I was in the psych ward. I never received a bill. They never told me how much it cost to hold me in the psych ward for five weeks and all this stuff and send me to a treatment center for 90 days. I never received a bill. Don't know how much it cost. No, none of that stuff. Um, you know, um, you know, it's just it's unreal. It, you know, it's you know, and then the, my commitment, supposedly, um, that goes on your record. I had no idea about any of this stuff, but but supposedly the commitment goes on your record. Um, you know, so I don't know if it shows up as a criminal thing or what, but. It supposedly it shows up on your record uh, they did another commitment on me where it didn't show up on my record I forgot what it, I forgot what it was called um, they told me that uh, you know they're like well if, if you can't make it through this 90 days or whatever six months or whatever it was I think it was a six month uh, commitment um, if you can't make it through there <coughs> excuse me um then your commitment will start over again um you know and it'll start you know start back from step one um i made it through there and stuff like that so my commitment didn't show up you know i don't there's no record of my commitment at all it's almost like it didn't happen you know in the same way with uh me being in the psych ward there's the you know I can look I I can go to my hospital I can go to the hospital and look up my medical records I can't find anything I can't find anything it's almost like this stuff doesn't exist it's almost like I don't exist you know there's no record of anything that I can find I can't find a record of me being in the psych ward I can't find a record of anything you know they diagnosed me is having delusional disorder well I can't find any record of that you know it's unreal you know it's just unreal you know so you know it's unreal I was thinking about that earlier today you know I was thinking you know I never received a bill I never received anything to show how much this stuff cost nothing no bill no nothing you know it's unreal it's almost like it didn't exist so I was thinking about all that stuff and then I was watching MK Ultra documents on YouTube um, but but a lot of the document um, uh, documentaries are um, they're old school you know they're they're pre 1974 they're, you know they're talking about the 40s the 50s the 60s um, there were some victims 
in the documentaries that were from like 1984 and stuff like that where they used shock treatment and they used LSD and they were doing brainwashing experiments and stuff like that but there's no mention no mention of uh, remote neural monitoring or microwave weapons or anything like that they, you know it, it they can do you know they can induce anything without drugs nowadays they can put you in a state of hypnosis using these weapons they can put you in a state of hypnosis and I'll, I'll give you a warning you guys if you guys are on Ativan or any of these those types of drugs you know they can induce hypnosis easier when you're on those drugs and I think that's they won't let me they won't give me Ativan or any of those drugs uh, you know they won't uh, give me any of those drugs um, you know I thought it was because well they're addictive and all this stuff they don't want me addicted to drugs and all this stuff um, but you know I, I also think that they don't want me um, like on Ativan or any of those because they can induce hypnosis easier when you're on those drugs and they can make you do things I know a lot of TIs don't make you think don't think they can make you do things when you're in a state of hypnosis you can do things and you you don't even realize it you know like I say they could be subliminally putting things into your head you know like oh go look up fast cars in the next thing you know you're on Google searching fast cars you know they can make you do it you know they can make you do things like that you know so it's just it's unreal you know um, there's so much that is involved in this program uh, you know it, it it really is unreal and it's it's hard to understand everything because there's so many angles of this program and there's so many different ways they can do things you know like voice of skull well they're not just doing voice of skull one way there's four different ways they can do voice to skull like bypass the ears and all this 